Massive news from Google today. They've launched a brand new and the most capable AI model called Gemini. They're calling this the largest and the most capable AI model. Before we jump into the demo, you know what to do. Like and share so more people can see this. All right, if you're a fan of uh, ChatGPT, GPT-4, it may be time to jump the ship, change the loyalty, because Gemini, they're calling this 1.0. It's amazing. It's the most powerful AI model. Forget ChatGPT, forget Claude. And they're launching three different uh, sizes or three different variations of Gemini. Gemini Nano, this is going to be for mobile devices. Let's say your Android. Hopefully, they launch this on iPhone because I use iPhone. Gemini Pro, our best model for scaling across a wide range of tasks. This is something you're going to be able to use actually right away after watching this video. This is available inside your Google Bar today. Gemini Ultra is the largest, most capable for highly complex tasks. It's coming next year. Now, here are some performance comparisons with Gemini Ultra and GPT-4. You can see here most of these tasks, Gemini Ultra is actually outperforming on most of these benchmarks. This is just amazing. And Google has actually uploaded a demo video, and we're going to watch it together because I want to show you some of the uh, killer new features uh, that Gemini is launching with. So let's uh, look at this, the multimodal nature of Gemini. So I'm going to play this video and we'll watch it together. Here we go. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. What if I have to say? The bird is swimming in the water. Oh my God, this is amazing because it looks like it is in real time. Gemini is able to understand the video input and it looks like it's live, it's being done live. This is just the true multi-model nature of Gemini. So I'm going to fast forward this and let's see what happens. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. These are so it's also able to recognize different colors that are being done in the video. All right, let's skip to the next, the multilinguality. It's able to speak different languages and also teach you pronunciation. So let's watch this. Give me a few options. Can you explain how to pronounce the Mandarin one? Is it Yatsu? Yatsu is pronounced with a first tone. In Mandarin, there are four tones which are essential to distinguish the meaning of words. The first tone is a high level tone. Oh, okay. The duck is in the middle. And by the way, this is actually one of my favorite ones because Gemini is able to create and play games with you. So watch this. It's gonna create a simple game in just a few seconds and it will be able to play that game with you. So let me. Yeah. Oh, and use emojis, please. How about this? We can play a game called Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue one. This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. I think it's New Zealand or maybe Australia. Well, well let's see. Oh, there you go. Look at that. So it's able to create games on the go on the fly. So next, let's watch. Uh, it's also able to. Gemini is so powerful. It can solve puzzles for you. So watch this. Paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. The cup to the left. What do you think? I think it's uh, I think it's the left. Nice. <laughs> there you go. I know what you're doing. You're playing rock paper scissors. This is just amazing. All right. Next, let's look at. It's also able to, in in the response, it's able to generate images and also text. And you'll see in, in a second, it also, in the response, it can also generate audio. So let's watch this. Give me some ideas for what I could make with this. I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Or how about a green cake with a pink heart? Wow, look at that. So it's able to solve these problems and also give us the response in the text. And not just text. Look at these images too. This is just amazing. All right, next, it's able to, this is actually another awesome capability. It's going to use reasoning and solve this logical problem. Watch this. Go. 
Going left leads to a duck, which is a friend. Going right leads to a bear, which is a foe. It is better to make friends than foes, so the duck should go left. Smart choice. That's really awesome. All right, next, let's look at this. Also, it's going to translate visuals and give you responses in not just text, not just images, in audio. So let's watch this. So the guy draws a guitar and watch, it's actually going to start playing that guitar. I see you're drawing a guitar. Oh my God, this is amazing. You've added an amp. Now it's an electric guitar. We can make some seriously loud music now. Given that you added drums, how about some 80s hair metal? This is awesome. All right. In addition to all of these multimodal capabilities, it can also solve complex math problems. Now, the last thing I want to show you in this video, Gemini, the, one of their models, uh, Gemini Pro, this one right here, it's actually already available inside your Google Bard. So if you go to Bard, you're going to see a bar here. You're going to see a message here. Uh, if you don't, I already kind of saw and clicked off. But another way you can check is go to settings and actually, let me see, go to the question mark, not the settings, and click on updates. And you're going to see December 6th. Look at this. BART is getting its biggest update yet with Gemini Pro. So BART is using Gemini Pro as of December 6th. So you'll see this update. Let's go back to BART. Another thing you can do, which I did, you can simply ask, are you using Google's new AI Gemini? And BART said, yes, I am. Another way to test this is I actually give it a complex a math problem. So here's the, the math problem. Uh, I gave Gemini to solve or Bard to solve, which is using Gemini. And here you go. Step by step, it worked to the solution, came up with the answer, and told me it is C. It's one of the answers available on the sheet. So Google's Gemini is coming. Actually, a part of it, Google uh, Gemini Pro is already inside your Google Bard. So go start using it. Chat GPT 3.5. Bye bye. We don't need you anymore. Well, I'm sure some of you guys are probably going to still keep using ChatGPT 3.5, which is fine. But give it a try. Uh, Google Gemini inside uh, Google Bart. Let me know if you have any questions. Before you go, like and share this video so more people can see this. And now I'll see you in this next video. Bye for now.